Uh, John, that was a chaotic end. Charlton's goalkeeper obviously made a lot of saves today. You were unlucky not to win, weren't you? I feel so, yeah. You know, balance of the first half. On chances created, probably even. I think they played a little bit better than us in the first half, if I'm honest. They passed it better. We didn't impose ourselves on the game like we know we can at home. Second half was a completely different story. Mm. And for big periods, we kicked in, made great chances. Their keepers made some great saves. Uh, we're disappointed we haven't took the chances that we created. Um, and then, you know, to go behind 2 1 in injury time and to have the courage and the character to come back and get an equaliser um, shows a testament to the character on our side, the strength of uh, our fitness as well. Um, and, you know, we've got to learn. Maybe the R's way that when you've got a team on the ropes, you've got to finish them off. And we did have them on the ropes in the, in the second half and didn't finish them off. When you concede 90 plus four, what are your thoughts? Do you think you'd lost? Well, you've just got to try and get up to the end. You know, we, we know there's another chance in us. Uh, we know that he's going to play another minute for how long they, they celebrated. Um, that didn't materialise because we scored and there's not, there was 10 seconds cut to yours. Right? But... Um, you know, at 1-1 we'd have been felt hard done by that we hadn't won the game. The fans have gone on feeling a little bit better because we've finished 2-2 <laughs> because of the nature of what happens and that's that's the, the, the intricacies of football and that's the nuances of football. The fans can go home happy, happier than where they were three minutes before with the same results couple of debuts in the team today, a couple of second debuts. Um, Sean Worley obviously stood out, great to see him back. Lucas Jensen didn't have too much to do, but what about Matt Lowe? First of all, how is he after his head injury and how pleased were you with the way he played as the lone striker? Well, he led the line. I mean, he's not technically the lone striker because we're playing 4-3-3, so he's got another two alongside him uh, and we've got to get them closer to him. Um, but he battled away. It's as if he's took Colby's mantle now and he's, apparently he can throw our strikers to the ground and he don't get a foul. Uh, you can elbow our centre-halves in the box and you don't get a foul. Um, you can elbow our centre-half going on for the header, cut his mouth and we'll get a player book for it for complaining. That's football. We had it all last season. We expect nothing different. Is Matt Lowe OK? We'll have to wait and see. He uh, took a couple of blows to the face. Um, Possibly they were a bit fortunate that Sean's put the ball in the net because if he, if he doesn't, it's a pen that's ending off. Because uh, he's heading the ball in from three yards and he gets, well, it's like a WWF move on it. So. It's an unbeaten start though, it's a platform to build on, do you think? Well, we're disappointed because you, you want to win your home games. Yeah. But we're up and running. And you, the last thing you wanted to do was have to go to Shoes because had to get off the mark. So at least we're up and running. And great to see the place. The place was buzzing at the end. Fantastic. The fans were beautiful. Uh, made some great noises. Um, and I'm pleased that they've gone home happy and only better in the 98th minute.